Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick update video of my computer room. Uh, as you can see here, this is where the magic happens. I'm going to take a little step back, see if I can include everything. So since my last video, I put these shelves up so I could have all my big box titles on display. Uh, this bookcase, uh, it's just all of my CD-ROM titles for the most part. I've got an iMac. This is uh, connected to Ethernet. This is a LC575. This is also connected to Ethernet. This is a Mac SE30 and it is connected uh, over Apple Talk, over a serial cable to this computer and I use that to mount network drives to install software. This is my Epson Equity 2. It's got a monochrome amber monitor. It's got an external modem. Uh, hard drive doesn't work right now. Over here, this is my uh, Pentium 166. This is my favorite computer. Uh, it's got all the good stuff. It's got CD-ROM, five and a quarter, three and a half, and it's got an internal zip drive. Uh, this is my 486 IBM uh, PS1. And you can see here, it's got a three and a half and five and a quarter combo drive which is kind of cool. Um, down here I just have a Pentium 4 which I actually use uh, I guess for that era of gaming or earlier Windows gaming basically. I moved my Commodore 64 from my main office up here and right now I'm using my Commodore monitor to um, play back video. There's the Computer Chronicles and Let's see if I can demonstrate this very quickly. I have a I have an app I wrote uh, that lets me play and pause video, uh, skip video, uh, load up different playlists. So here's the this is going to load up the screensavers now. I just have a bunch of retro uh, television. You can see this is connected uh, directly in. Uh, to a Raspberry Pi, but usually I have that connected to this uh, UHF transmitter. Can't get, yeah, 500 megahertz. And you can see I can actually um, hit the power button and that'll turn off the transmitter and it pauses the video. Cool. Um, my setup here, I have a KVM switch, and I have my 486, Pentium 1, Pentium 4, and my Linux server connected to it, so I can use them all here, which is great. Uh, my Pentium 1 triple boots uh, between MS-DOS, Windows 95, and 98. When I boot up uh, MS-DOS, it goes into Quick Menu 3, which is this nice little interface here. Um, I can do a quick reboot with uh, QEMM uh, quarter deck and you can see now I can go uh, to 98, 95 even OS2 warp uh, quickly and easily I, I love my my P166 um, up here I have the greatest game ever made uh, I also have a HP palm top computer running Windows CE and it does have a modem uh, and I can get online with it uh, on a Raspberry Pi under my desk, I have it connected to a dial-up modem and to some uh, voice over IP boxes. So every computer in this room is able to dial each other or to dial my server to get out to the internet. Uh, yeah, what else should I cover? I think that's it. I mean, you know, here's a bunch of floppy disks. And lastly, here's a uh, picture that my mom got me when I was, I don't know, maybe 10 years old or something like that. Uh, so there you have it. This is the October update of my computer room. All right, thanks.